Hey, what's up, Facebook man? It's Cardiac's Kitchen. Um, Cardi's Kitchen. Uh, we're doing a grilla shoot here, so don't mind me. This is unscripted. We're just gonna go raw. Um, this isn't exactly the format of the show, but I'm just gonna show you a quick recipe. For now, you can see some of the stuff that we're gonna be getting into on the show. So um, don't mind the breakage. Uh, we got my niece and nephew in the background, so you might get a little backup dances going on. So um, what I started with was just regular shrimp. You can get them um, pre-cooked at the supermarket. So I got about a pound, and I put them in some mojo crio. It's um, basically um, garlic, onions, uh, lime juice, lemon, a bunch of good stuff. So it's just sitting there marinating. Um, I got also butter and some chives that I'm gonna put right on this pan that I got heating up right now. So I'm gonna have the butter. You want this at a nice high heat. Get this oniony goodness up in there. And my assistant can pass me the kosher salt if she could. Your assistant has had an epic fail. We're Where is it? Epic failures all around. Uh, kosher salt, kosher salt, kosher salt. It's still on the table, I believe. All right. We'll pass on that. I'm going to add a little Old Bay. It's kind of like the cure all for everything that ails you. Just going to add that into the butter. Now, I'm not one of these measuring type people. I do everything by eye. Um, I'll tell you if it's like a punch or liberal. It's more of a feel or taste thing. All right, so we're heating up the butter. We get the base salt. Got these chives going. I have my shrimp marinating. I do not need this for right now. That's for my beef tacos later. I will go live with that later, but for the beef tacos, it takes a little longer to cook, so I'm going to just basically start them up before you throw them on the pan, and then later I'm going to show you a nice presentation. So, that is going. Make sure it heats up a little. Add a little miracle to Zongoya. I kind of just doing this for color. It's really very subtle. It doesn't really add a lot of flavor and stuff. Now, the important thing is you do want to drain this after you're done with the marinade because you don't want it, you want to kind of sear these a little bit. So I'm emptying it out. By the way, Cardiac at Reverb Nation, if you like any of the tunes you're hearing, you can check those out. K-A-H-D-I-A-K at ReverbNation.com. And if you guys like any of the recipes that we show, you can hit us up and we will send you out the recipe or we'll post it later. Add a little more heat here. So we have these sexy little shrimp up in there. Dance my pretties. We're going for a swim. That looks sexy. All right. Alright my sexy beautiful, how we doing? Now cilantro is pretty much the standard for street tacos. And this is bundled. Great. Now don't mind us. We don't have our assistants here today. Let me just chop these bad areas up. Now you don't really need to go crazy with cilantro and you're only cutting the tops. You don't really need the stems. All that stuff's done. And you can have it nice and rough looking. It doesn't have to be pretty. Put these little bowls here. Smells so good. Now, turn this up a little more. Now you just watch it, stir it.
Now these were pre-cooked. They were steamed already, so they're pretty much just getting that butter flavor in there. All right, I'm gonna watch that cook. Get my cilantro. Now I'm gonna keep it up a notch. So, I'm gonna get ready to prep these bad layers. So I got Hidden Valley Cucumber Ranch and a Sweet Baby's Creamy Buffalo Sauce. Now, this is just gonna be a light drizzle that I'm gonna add on top of the shrimp tacos once they're done. This is more like, it's more like the Cali Fusion. So, I swear by these pepito corn tortillas. So while waiting for the shrimp and stuff to cook. Hold on, we're having technical difficulties. People can't hear you. Can we hear me? Can you hear me? How we doing? I need to be mic'd up. Oh, they say okay, better. All right, fantastic. So now, take these. And I'm going to go and show you how to make fresh tortilla chips. So easy. You gotta make sure you buy the corn tortillas. Pip, what are these? Pepitos. Pepitos. Mr. Pepito knows what he's doing around the tortilla. All right, so take that. And I need, oh, I can use it. It's if right you there. have a pizza cutter. It's right there next to the Pepitos. Sweet, Mr. Pepito. All right, brand new. If you guys are watching so live, we're also broadcasting on my personal Facebook page. But if you want to get the close-up view, go to Cardiac on Facebook, and that will be showing you the close-up shots of what he's doing on the stove. Right, my page is only oil, the wide one. And I'm going to heat it up real hot. Enough to do kind of a deep fry to a tortilla chip. So I'm filling up the whole bowl. And we got all these child locks everywhere, so don't mind us. And whoa, that almost <laughs> took my face off. <laughs> got your money's worth there, Facebook. <laughs> all right, so I take them and I just cut them like a pizza. Now, depending on the size you want, if you want a nice dippy one, now you take these, you just set them aside real easy. You can do up to about three or four at a time. Bada-boom, bada-bang. I like that noise. Sounds like Leonardo getting down. It's Mr. Splinter. There you go. Real simple. Then I fry them. And it's really easy to tell once they're, they're cooked, they're going to be a nice little golden brown. You take them out, pat them down, add a little kosher salt, and you're good to go. And I'm going to show you guys how to do a quick guacamole, because so many people love guacamole, the guacamoles, but they don't know how to make it. And it's so, so easy. All right, so I cut these up and wait for the oil to heat up. And now I'm grabbing my avocados, checking out my shrimp. That looks marvelous. All right, my ladies, my boys, my peoples out in Facebook land. All right. Where are my avocados? They're over there in the back. Oh my god. I'm going on screen. <laughs> they're right there. No, that's jalapenos. Oh, they're right there. Behind you. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, cool. Dean is watching you. Hey, Dean. A Wild is watching you. Hey, Wilda. All right, guys, cool way to check if an avocado is done. I learned this the other day. If you take the little doohickey off right there, it'll show you the color of it. So if it's too green, it's definitely not done. But if you got a nice little color like that, it's good to go. For those people who are craving the guacamoles and you get home and it's not ripe yet, gets you in the fields. Ashley's watching, Arissa. Alex, Sarah, All right, so we cut in. Chris, Joy, Vinny. 
Say hi, Vinny. So this is perfect. This is done. Get the pit out. I hope none of you out there are going to put the pit inside the bowl. I need a bowl. Clean one. Behind you. On the top. Open that. Right. Still learning my way around this kitchen. That's too good. We'll do a little one. Just so you guys can see. All right. Now I take my extremely perfect ripe avocado. You can use your hand, or you can scoop it out, whatever. When it's perfect, this is just perfect right now. Constantly wash your hands in the kitchen. It's just gross, y'all. Hygiene. Wash yourselves. All right. Take the avocado, real easy. Garlic. You can get the pre-minced stuff. You can cut it up yourself. It does. It is. It does add a difference. But this stuff is pretty good. And like I said, none of us is really doing everything we see on TV the way we see it on TV. I want to give you guys quick shortcuts so you can get on with your life and wrangle up your kids and get them to bed in time. So they like the guacamoles. We get here. I don't have a spoon. On the counter on the right, there you go. All right, now, the garlic is actually the most important part about the guacamole. So you wanna, you wanna be liberal with it. You might, nice little spoonful right there. And then salt and pepper, which has magically disappeared. Salt. Now this, you want to be careful with it. You want to. I measure things by like a punch, a pinch. So this is what you would call a punch, like my uncle taught me back in the day. We want to do just a couple pinches out of that to the guacamole. And and now the secret ingredient that people miss. Now you can make your own pico de gallo. But you add a little bit of red onions and some tomato to the guacamole. This is the easiest way to get you going for a party. Just add a tiny little dollop. That's it. And then we get a fork. On the counter. Go on the counter. On the counter. What counter? Look at my finger. <laughs> Forking. What the fork, y'all? Alright, so, sorry, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> These lights are hot! Good <laughs> God! Cooking me! Alright, so, just mash that up. You can just. Real easy. And that's it, it was so ripe, it was pretty much done. Then, I'm looking for my limes, folks. Yeah, the shrimp's done. Take it off the heat. Getting the kicks out now, right? I'm walking back and forth like a nut. So I need, um, I'm just gonna, you just add a little bit of lime juice to this, so it stops it from turning brown. And then you wrap it up. And this oil should be good and hot by now. And you just take the chips like so. And put them in the oil. Oh yeah, they're gonna start to fry up. So now I can start doing the shrimp. Presentation. 
Presentation is huge. You don't bust your butt in the kitchen for two hours and just serve it on a cardboard plate and expect someone to rave about it. It's gonna look gross. So get yourself some nice plates. Now you wanna stay on top of these when you're frying them because sometimes they stick and they bubble up to the top. So you wanna just kind of poke them. Use a wooden spoon, by the way. Do not use metal. It actually brings down the temperature of the oil. Learn that from my beloved Uncle Wayne, God rest his soul, who taught me pretty much everything I know about the kitchen. And you too, Mom. <laughs> She's like, yeah, right, it was Uncle Wayne. <laughs> so yeah, we're frying those. We got our guacamole's done. I'm looking for a lime. Looking for a lime. <laughs> Still looking for a lime. Where'd you leave the bags? I had a, oh, there we go. Limes. <laughs> and now, believe it or not, folks, there is an actual correct way to cut a lime. I learned this bartending. Shout out to Jenna. I thought she was anal, but it's right. And Joy. So. These aren't the sexiest limes I've ever seen. Kind of chopped towards the end, little knotty pieces. Vinny, Jake says you need to cook for him when they come out because that looks good. You got it. Slice these bad layers down the middle. And you cut here. And that's how you cut for the bar. <laughs> All right, but we don't need that right now. I'm just gonna add a nice liberal Vinny, say hi to Vinny. He's watching you. Hey, buddy. Love you, buddy. Now you put the lime into that to finish that off. And lime onto that sexy guacamole. And we're checking on our chips. Now my tortilla chips are still going. And if you're timing me, we're pretty much down on the home stretch of this recipe. So now... We're gonna plate these. So let me get that tray in. Right. Paul Righty there. Now, just get these bad Larrys. Now you can do about three or four shrimp, but you know what? We're beasting it today. So I'm plating these. Get that nice in there. All right. Do a tiny bit of the cilantro right here. All right. Now we're really gonna get interesting here because now we're gonna add a tiny little spritz of the cucumber dressing. I say spritz as I destroy it. All right, and then, sweet baby rays, creamy buffalo wing sauce. Now some people don't, like this is my own take on shrimp tacos. You can kind of take a little bit of what I did and add your own spin on it. That's the awesome thing about cooking. And there you go, shrimp taco. So as you guys can see, I literally did that recipe live for you guys. I did the whole entire prep, everything. Um, I only marinated those shrimp for about, about 10 to 15 minutes before that. All right, our tortilla chips are nice and crispy over here. So I'm gonna dry them off some paper towels. Mexican grandma style. <laughs> if you guys are watching on my page, you can go over to Cardiac and that will show the close ups. Now we're going to do another. So you can see exactly what he's doing. Some people aren't down with the dairy, so. But these are going to be the dairy version. I'm going to add a little Mexican cheese. Just a nice little spritzing right there. That's sexy. 
Nice. Move this guacamole. Get my shrimp out the way. And spritz. Spritz. And perfect. These bad berries are nice golden brown. Almost set the kitchen on fire. <laughs> All right, you can almost smell when they're done because they give off a, a, a distinct smell when they're about that perfect golden brown. Now, cool thing you can do with these, I'm obviously just making them for um, the guacamole, but you can also pat them down and put a little bit of butter, cinnamon, and sugar on it, and you get a nice little dessert. All right, turn all my stuff down. And we have just a tiny bit of salt for, you know, for seasoning for you guys, whatever you feel. Salt bay, bam! <laughs> Oh, I got that in my eye. <laughs> Alright, so here we go, guys. We have, you know what? I'm putting my glass bowl just to make a nice aesthetic look to them. Homemade tortilla chips, guacamoles, and your shrimp tacos. This has been Cardi's Kitchen. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And, oh my god. I love you guys, thanks for showing up. Websites. Oh, um, you can catch my music at cardiac at reverbnation.com. You can Google K-A-H-D-I-A-K. Um, find all my music there. And also, B-Town City Production Company. Cardi's Kitchen on Cardi's Twitter. Cardi's Kitchen on Twitter. Instagram. Instagram. All the good stuff. Um, thank you guys for showing up. We're going to do a lot more stuff. We're going to have some cool guests. I hope you guys enjoy the show. Thank you very much.